In this series, we're going to go through the different levels of supply planning. Uh, today, we're going to go through the most basic, uh, level one, and that's going to be reorder point. Uh, so all reorder point is going to do in NetSuite is it's going to look at your inventory levels at a given location, and if that inventory level falls below a specific threshold, it's going to trigger you to create a purchase order for that item. So here we can see we have this inventory item, P-I-U-R-O-P -P component. So if we go down to the item location configurations, we can see that this item is located in a few different warehouses. Today we're going to focus on the San Francisco warehouse. You can see we have eight on hand and eight available with a total value of 800. If we go and we click on edit, we'll pull up this item's item location configuration record. We'll see a few different tabs here. We're going to go to the planning sub tab. We can see that this item has a reorder point of 10, a purchase lead time of 14, and a preferred stock level of 50. So because I have eight on hand, there's gonna, there's gonna be a trigger warning for me to go and create a purchase order, and it's gonna want me to get to this preferred stock level of 50, so this purchase order will be for 42. So let me show you how to get to that page. We're gonna go to transactions, supply planning, order items. So this same process can be applied to work orders and transfer orders, and would be done at mass create work orders or replenish location by transfer order. But today we're gonna to do purchase order. And you can see we have a few different options here. We're gonna to go to reorder point, and we can see this purchase order for this item that wants to create a purchase order for 42. So I'll go ahead and click this, and I'll submit. I could have used some of the filters up at the top, but since there was only one, I didn't need to. I'm gonna go ahead and pause until this record is created. Okay. Now when I refresh, I'll see this PO 4357 for the amount of 4200. I can go and click on this purchase order and it'll bring me right to the purchase order that I just created. So this is the most straightforward method of supply planning that NetSuite has to offer.